why did I quit my job in India? But one thing to note here is when you come here or when you take that decision of coming to Germany, then you have to leave everything that you had back in India. I see so many people, they are here or they want to come here, but Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about a very important doubt or question that is coming in your mind right now. There are so many people who contact me and they ask, should I come to Germany? I am earning around 20 lakhs, 30 lakhs. Some are even earning 40 lakhs or more than 50 lakhs in India. They have a great job. They have a stable life and they don't know whether they should leave all that stay in India or they should come to Germany and this doubt keeps bothering them. They are watching videos for Germany but they are not able to decide whether I should come to Germany or I should still stay in India. Some of you have also received a job offer and are still in two minds. Should I leave this country or go to Germany or not? So in this video we are going to talk about that and I'm going to help you understand what will help you make a right decision. So I know you are in doubt. I know you have a great job right now in India. I know the India market is booming. The economy is booming. You have, a, you have certain stability. You are living with your family or you have some house help or even if you're staying alone. But life is settled. Life is comfortable. And when life is comfortable, still you think that something is missing and that's why you start researching about Europe and other countries and then Germany comes into play and then you think am I okay in India or should I go out for some years or should I should, should I just stick here so this doubt keeps coming again and again in your mind and you're not able to take a decision right so exactly the same thing happened with me as well now to tell you I was working as a director of global HR in India. Now, why did I quit my job as a director of HR in India, right? So, pretty good salary at a leadership role. Uh, I had the best job in this world. And if I ask you to take my job any day, anybody would just grab that job and take it, right? Now, I didn't reach that ladder so easily. Of course, it took me some time to gain so much experience and go to that level. And I was working at that level for more than four or five years. And I was perfectly, perfectly enjoying my life. But why did I quit my job in India and I came to Germany without a job? Now, was it a right decision or was it not a right decision? Do I regret that decision? Do I still compare my life to back in India or not? Well, I'm going to talk about all that in this video. So stay tuned until the end. You will really enjoy this video about my journey. And that will also help you take a decision about your journey. Why did I quit my job in India? One fine day, I decided to close that chapter completely, close that book, and apply for a visa in Germany. Now, why did I do that? The reason I did that and I came to Germany and I'm restarting my life again is because I was missing something. I'm a person who likes certain challenges. I'm a person who wants to live this life to the fullest. And I already felt I'm living a retirement life. And because everything is there and yes, it's amazing, it's great. But that challenge, that excitement, doing something new, something different, that was missing. And that's when I decided that I need to do something else. Now I need to do something else, uh, but or I need a change of place. I uh, That thought also came into my mind. Now, change of place when I thought in India, I've already lived in Pune, I've lived in Delhi, I'm from Mumbai, I've lived in Bangalore. So I've already lived in all these metropolitan cities. So where else can I go in uh, India? Because everything would be rather the same. I've already lived that. 
So I decided I will try and get some international exposure. And that's when I decided that I will come to Germany. So I was weighing my great life with the international exposure that I wanted in my life. And that's when I decided that I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to restart my career, come to Germany and then go back in on the same ladder that I want to do, go. And I came to Germany. I had no job. I didn't know anybody. I'm sure if you're watching my videos, you know my story. And I secured a job. Do I have a job at a director level now? No, I don't. But I see that that can happen very soon as well. Once I gain more experience. And I'm very open to that. So I came to Germany with a very open mind. Because the trade off that I was doing. That trade off what I was doing was to get some international exposure, which I was missing back in India. So it was not important for me how much money I'm earning or what role I'm getting. What was important for me was to get that challenge, to do something else, to get the international exposure. And for that international exposure, I was ready to trade off my great life that I had in India. Do I regret my decision? Of course not. I do not regret my decision because I am getting what I wanted. And what I wanted, I wanted to work with international teams in Europe, get some experience and put that in my CV and also understand that, you know, how things work outside India. Life is so big, the world is so big and I didn't want to restrict myself just in one environment, in one set of atmosphere, I wanted to gain more experience. So basically, that's why I took this decision. So whenever you feel stuck, the question that you have to ask yourself is that what is the trade-off? What are you looking for at this moment? Why is this thought process coming into your mind that you want to leave your current job and you want to go to Europe or you want to come to Germany? What is the reason for that trigger in your mind? Is it that your life is too comfortable and you want to try something new? Then you have to ask yourself, will you be okay if that trying something new will be in India? Or is it something that you want to get an international exposure? You want to work outside India. Is that the main reason? Or your main reason is that you want to earn more money. Now, if your main reason is to earn more money, then you have to really calculate. Coming to Germany, will you get the same money? You might earn more when you compare in euros. But the savings that you will do, you might save less than what you're saving back in India. Trust me, I was earning more back in India than what I'm earning right now in my current job. But I'm okay with it. Why am I okay with it? Because I am getting what I want. And what I wanted, I wanted international exposure. And I'm getting that. So when it comes to the money, when it comes to my role, when it comes to my experience, I'm very, very confident I'm going to achieve that. I will uh, put my effort, give it some time. I'm going to reach where I want to reach. So I am not thinking about what I was earning back in India right now because I am thinking about what I'm gaining right now. And this gain of international exposure, this experience, I was not getting in India. So basically, that is exactly how you have to think. Now, if you want to come, uh, as I said, for getting more experience or something very similar like me, getting an international exposure, then you have to keep that in your mind. And you don't have to compare uh, then your salary and your comfort zone in India, right? If this is a burning topic in your life right now, where you feel once in your lifetime, you have to go outside and you want to work outside then you have to concentrate on that topic. Then you can't compare with your comfortable life and uh, with everything that you've built. Even with everything that you've built right now, somewhere you're not happy. And somewhere you're thinking that maybe I should go and get some more experience outside India. So if that is a thought that is triggering you, then you should definitely take care of that thought. And then you should go full in 
for it. And I am a person, when I decide something, then I go full in. You know, I don't uh, be in two minds. Should I do that or should I not do that? Yes, to, to go full in, I take some time. I mean, it took me at least five to six months to do the research and then actually uh, prepared my mind. I know I have to go now. I have decided. And that's when I applied for my job seeker visa. So do your research. The more you're going to research, the more clarity you're going to get, you know, whether you get excited about the new life or you feel that, no, this is too much hard work. I'm very comfortable in my current situation and I don't want to leave my current situation. So these things will start giving you more and more clarity, right? But one thing to note here is when you come here or when you take that decision of coming to Germany, then you have to leave everything that you had back in India. I see so many people, they are here or they want to come here, but the mind, the body is here, but the mind is still back in India. And they keep comparing everything to what their life was back in India. Now they are not happy here and they were not happy in India as well, right? So to avoid this confusion, you have to get all in and you have to be very, very determined that you're coming outside India or outside your home country for a reason. And what is that reason? What is your reason, you know, that makes you think that I want to take this decision? Now, are you getting that reason in your home country? If no, then you should definitely try to come outside India or go out of your home country and try to find a job in Germany or any other country, you know, and then you should focus at least for next two years for that reason. One another thing which is important here is it's not going to be easy. You know, if you think you can just pack your uh, bags and just come and it's very easy to restart. No, I am not going to lie to you. It's going to be very, very, very difficult. And at some points you are going to feel, why did you do this? And why are you taking this such a big step at this age of your life? You know, you're going to feel that uh, restarting in a new country without knowing anybody, without having no friends. It's not easy. It's always tough. But remember, what is the trade off? Why are you going through all this? You are going through all this because you want something. And that something, that goal that you want, you are going to get it here. And always achieving goal is not easy. If achieving goals were easy, it would not be your goal. You would just blink your eye and you would just get it, right? The reason why it is a goal is because it is something far-fetched. It is something that you want to achieve. So that will require some effort. That will require a lot of hardships, lot of determination, lot of loneliness. It's going to be a lonely ride, I'm telling you. But always remember the purpose of you coming here and stick to that purpose. The best part of all this is if you come here, if you do not like it, things do not work in your favor. The worst case scenario, I always talk about the worst case scenario and that's how I take the decision. What is the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario is that you would need to go back to your home country and you will need to find a job again. Now, is that difficult? Not at all. You can always go back to your home country, always get a job, always go back to your previous life that you had built. And now it will be easier for you because we've already done that in the past. So the worst case scenario is not worst enough. At the end, you will still survive. You will still go back. You will find something. So it's just taking that leap of faith for a few years, right? One year, two years, you try it. And if you end up enjoying here, then you can live here, build your life here. If you don't like it, you can always go back. So that's the best part about all this trying new things and going to the new country. So don't be so hard on yourself. Believe in your gut feeling. And if you think that purpose, the missing factor that you have in your current life, if you're going to get that after this move, then go for it. Definitely go for it. 
and if it doesn't work you can always come back to your home country and you can always go back to what you were doing before but at the end i want to say just one thing it's one life take all the decisions that you want to take be the person that you want to be and just come here uh, do the things don't like it go back the last thing i want to tell you is do not compare i to i do not compare everything what you have in india to everything that you are going to get in germany that's not going to help you that is now not how things work here so if you are about earning 20 lakhs in india and if you have a salary of 60000 here so that's going to be much more than 20 lakhs right but you can't compare oh my god here i'm earning 50 lakhs in uh, europe and i'm earning 20 lakhs in india definitely i am going to save more in europe and i'm going to get rich that is not how it works if you have a 20 lakh salary you maybe you are paying a rent of 10000 12000 per month in in europe you will be paying a rent of easily 80000 to 1 lakh per month because the rents are like 1000 euros or so so you cannot compare everything i to i back in india and here in germany don't do that mistake if you do that mistake then you will never get a solution and you will always be stuck so as i said the only way to decide this problem or to take a decision is whether it is solving your purpose what is your purpose right now why are you looking out for a change is this next move going to solve that purpose for you or not if yes then you should concentrate on the purpose and make sure other basic things are met and you are good to go i hope my videos help you get little motivated to get that next job uh, do the things that you want to do and uh, to move to a new country because i know it's not easy i am there for you and i also take one to one consultations you can book my slot and also you can follow me on linkedin subscribe to my channel share my video in case if you're liking what i'm doing thank you so much i wish you all the best please comment in the section below what is your purpose what is it that you are missing right now in your life and why do you want to have this new change it could be anything right it could be money it could be something challenging it could be you love traveling and you want to come to europe it could be you have never been to a foreign country it could be that you want to experience international exposure or it it could be anything right so right what is missing in your life right now and why do you think you should come to germany here in the comment section i'm going to read and reply to each of your comment take care have a great great day ahead thank you so much see you soon